Hello, I'm Ryan Kreft with your SBTV News. This week, farmers charged with falsifying documents, Christmas tree safety tips, and UWSP's Christmas Carol. All this and more coming up. Kiwani County farmer Johannes Waker and two others have been charged with falsifying documents and permitting manure runoff into the local ecosystems. Bacteria in the area had increased to hundreds of times over the legal limit and showed dangerous levels of E. coli. Waker and his associates have been liable to conspiracy to commit a crime, fraudulent writing, and discharging pollutants into the waters of this state. The farm has come under multiple investigation reports by the Department of Natural Resources throughout the past five years and have been applying manure to fields where, while in prime runoff conditions, Waker has been fined $225,000 for the destruction of Wisconsin waterways. Farmers for Tomorrow Watershed Council for FTWC is a new group of Wisconsin farmers. Their goal? transform the perception of sustainability in farming, and improve the quality of groundwater throughout Wisconsin. Farming takes a healthy balance of nutrients, maintenance, and care, but sometimes it's easier to care, to care more for the profits than for the environment. The FTWC aims to teach farmers about the benefits of proper control has on their prop, crops and consumers. Their aim is to reduce the amount of nitrogen in the soil to both keep down crops and water sources that are contaminated with too much nitrogen. The Aging and Disability Resource Center of Portage County, better known as ADRC, is fighting to keep its adult daycare center open. Their proposed budget has passed through the ADRC's board, however. It still needs to pass through the Portage County Board. So far, the daycare has received up to $11,000 in donations. The daycare center is a valuable asset to the community, and around 20 people regularly use its resources. The board hopes to receive around $137,000 as a new budget. Adult daycare centers provide support and care to individuals who are limited, inter interact socially with other people, provide mental health maintenance, and provide a level of independence. Christmas is right around the corner, and that means Christmas trees. Christmas trees can pose a major fire hazard if proper steps are not taken. The Riverside Fire District reminds people with real trees that they should be watering their trees every day. You should be able to put your hand into the base of the tree and feel water up to your fingertips. Lieutenant Jerry Link says that if needles begin to get brown or branches start to drop, Add more water. Link also said to check your lights for broken or worn cords and to turn them off before you leave or, or if they are too hot to touch. Lastly, Link says to keep your tree away from warm objects like candles or wax melts. And that'll do it for news today. I'll hand it off to Maya Vissers with SBTV Entertainment. Greetings Pointers, I'm Maya Vissers here with your entertainment news. Get into the holiday spirit this weekend with UWSP Theater and Dance's performance of the musical A Christmas Carol. The cast includes not only a talented group of UWSP students, but, a commu but community members and children playing various parts. The show will be held in the NFAX Jenkins Theater. The program runs from the 8th through the 10th and goes from 7.30 to 9.30 in the afternoon. You can get tickets online or at UWSP tickets page or at the door. This is the last week of their performance, so don't miss out. You like jazz? Come on down to the UWSP Jazz Band Concert Tuesday, December 13th at 7.30 p.m. in Mickelson Hall in the NFAC. Tickets are available at the UWSP tickets page. That's all I have for entertainment this week. Now over to Will for your sports updates.
How's it going, Stevens Point? Will Harrelson here with all of your SPTV sports updates. If I would have told you that a college basketball team would have scored 74 regulation points on 51% shooting and go into overtime and go 0 for 5 from the field and win the game by 4, you'd probably think that I'm crazy. But that is exactly what the Pointers men's basketball team did. For the first time since the 2020-2021 season, the UWSP men's basketball team have won a WIAC regular season game. Point guard Jake Buchanan had an outstanding game, going for 27 points on 50% from beyond the arc and 52% overall. Saturday's win at Platteville also marked Buchanan's eighth consecutive game scoring double digits. The Pointers will face one of their toughest tasks on Thursday, December 8th, as they welcome the undefeated Trine University Thunder to the Quant Fieldhouse. The Pointers are going to have to slow down senior forward Brent Cox, who averages 17 points per game on 41% shooting. You can catch the game right here on SBTV on Thursday at 7 p.m. Late Tuesday, December 6th, it was announced that the current interim head coach and former defensive coordinator Jim Leonard will be leaving the University of Wisconsin football coaching staff after the team's appearance in the 2022 Guaranteed Rate Bowl versus Oklahoma State. To many, this comes as a shock as last week's Jeff Portrakis of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel posted an article claiming Leonard would be returning as the defensive coordinator. Through a statement made through Twitter, Leonard announced that he will be moving on moving on, saying, quote, it has meant the world to me to be able to pour my heart and soul into the UW football program for the last seven years, Leonard wrote on Twitter. After discussions with my family and Coach Fickle, I will remain defensive coordinator through the bowl game, but will no longer be part of the staff after the conclusion of the 2022 season. It is yet to be announced where Leonard will do after he leaves UW. Well, that is all for sports. Now back to Ryan. Hi everyone, I'm Florence Anderson, the General Manager for SPTV. This will be SPTV's last news of the semester and we are unfortunately saying goodbye to longtime staff member Ryan Kraft. Ryan Kraft created the show You Got Game and was the first entertainment producer at SPTV. He's been on staff for nearly three years. He's been a kind and helpful staff member working nearly every sports game, news broadcast, and entertainment show. And so finally, as we often say here at SPTV, Ryan, you're fired. Jokes aside, we wish the best for you and we hope you uh, find the best work in your future endeavors. That's all we have for news tonight. As always, stay safe and have a good night.